Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to change the engine oil and engine oil filter on a John Deere 35G. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the oil filter. Now when you remove the oil filter, a little bit of oil is going to come out. You want to have a catch can underneath to catch any oil that may or may not hit the ground. I use a pair of filter pliers. You can grab onto the filter and just unscrew it. There's different types of pliers, there's strap wrenches, but in this case, this is the easiest tool to use. Any new filters, whether they're aftermarket or from the manufacturer, you want to double check, make sure that they are the same as the one that came off. In this case, we flip it over, we looked at the seal here is the same size, the threads look the same size, and overall the same dimensions. On the seal here, you want to make sure there's a little bit of lubrication on there. Some of them are dry, this is an OEM one, and there is a little bit of grease on here. If there's not, you can use a little bit of the oil where the old oil filter was on, and just wipe a little bit on there. I don't normally use the tool to tighten the oil filter up. I go as tight as I can by hand. If you feel that's not quite tight enough, you can use the tool to give it a little bit more. Myself, I don't prefer to. That's the oil filter change now. Now I'm gonna go underneath and we're gonna drain the engine oil. On the bottom, sometimes there's a belly pan. You have to remove the belly pan. This one, in this case, there's not. I can see the oil pan from the bottom. Grab a socket and a ratchet. This one, in, in this case, the 19 millimeter to pull the drain plug out. Make sure you have something to catch the oil underneath. Sometimes you have to vent to let air in, so I pull the dipstick out a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do it in this order. You can start by draining the engine oil, changing the filter, and then refilling the engine oil, or change the engine, drain the engine oil, refill the engine oil, change the oil filter, as long as you have all three, chain, or all three things done before you start the machine. So we let that drain out. While that drains out, I get my new oil ready to go. As you can see right here, this is the oil fill. You can either use little one liter jugs in a small funnel. You might be able to fit that in. In this case, I'm gonna use a pump. Works a lot easier for me because I do a lot of these machines. Before you put any oil in, make sure you put the drain plug back on the bottom. Make sure you tighten the drain plug. As you fill it, you want to periodically check that you're not going to overfill it and you know when you're getting close to the proper amount. As you can see, I'm getting closer. I'm not quite there yet, so we're going to put a little bit more in.
just a little bit more needed still. I'm right there at the top mark. Now the oil filter is not full of oil, so the next step is to actually start the machine, let the engine pump engine oil around, fill up the oil filter, and then we'll double check it and top up as needed. Make sure your dipstick is in and all your caps are on before you start it. Now the engine is ran, we know that there's oil been pumped through the engine. The oil filter is going to be full. We'll let it settle down for a couple of seconds here and then we're going to double check the oil and top up as needed. As you can see here, we are down a little bit, so we're going to add a little bit more. As you can see, I'm bang on top of the line. We know the engine oil filter is full. There's engine, th engine oil throughout the entire engine. That is a full engine and you can clean up. And that is how you change the engine oil, engine oil filter on a John Deere 35G.